you know you're a winner now and, and congratulations on that because it's leading up to that you were so close knocking on the door and i remember texting austin you know like is this the week you're gonna do it you know like and it was um what was it houston leading up right and then it was you played in you played with hovland right in the final group mm-hmm. and i'm just like oh can, you know like can it can this happen now yeah right. um and then obviously it happens at the rsm over the, you know week before thanksgiving right you got all your family down there i mean as timing goes like that's probably you know it's just a great time to have it but i mean talk me through like leading up to it right like you've got all those kind of close you know you're like i'm knocking on the door i'm so close it takes a lot of mental strength to continue to keep like a lot of people would have been like wow i just came t2 like you know three times or whatever like made a bit of money i'm happy yeah but i mean part of you is saying i can still do this let's get that first win and you just refuse to to back down and then you know you go win the rsm yeah i mean just the the competitor in you so when when i was playing in mexico it was mexico when i played with victor in the final round um you know had a chance to to go win and i didn't get it done and you know it's just like it doesn't matter the the type of success you have in golf whether it's you know making money or getting into different events or whatever like we still want to win like yeah. we're just you know mm-hmm. we're, we're competitors to our core and so um you know i've been playing some good golf for for a while um you know all summer i was hitting it really really well um and i hadn't i just hadn't got the putter hot mm-hmm. I, you know as we know golf oftentimes the results are not necessarily a reflection of what you're doing um you know you kind of need the golf gods at times you need certain courses to give you you know the certain type of greens that are fit your eye or whatever it may be it's just it's a it's a fickle game but you know i've been playing good golf for a while and so I, i knew I knew if I just kept doing what I was doing and if I stayed on track I was on and if I just, you know, trusted trusted my day to day and week to week process, I'm like, yeah. man, this we're we're gonna hit. You know, it's 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 there's too many things that are happening in a good way and I'm I'm getting in traffic as my agent says. Yeah. He goes, just keep getting in traffic and I kept getting in traffic too often and I was playing too well to you know, to not get something done right. and, uh you know fortunately it was better late than never and and it it's just it's such a god thing because two weeks you know the the in mexico i was by myself mm-hmm. uh when i had a chance to win and didn't have family friends you know nobody there and and i didn't get it done and it was you know it was crushing and then two weeks later you know, have family there and you know obviously wife and and baby girl at the time was there and it was just such a god thing like i said for it was like he he said all right we're gonna wait until they're there to be there for your first win and so yeah. it was it was such a cool thing man yeah go, go dive into that for me because uh, and the, the the god thing because i know it's a huge part of your life it's a huge part of your family life and your upbringing you know and if anyone follows you on instagram and sees you on a sunday you know you're, you're on live church and, you, and you're you know you're in that tell me about kind of that and just that i don't think we, we probably didn't cover this one our first podcast but just kind of like how, how how that's in your life how much it means to you and how also you kind of pull from pull strength from that too and rely on that kind of stuff as well as as a way to bounce you know things off and and just having that i guess uh, security in 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 faith uh, and yeah. the lord and, and just i want to touch on that a little bit yeah i was actually talking with someone about this yesterday so you know in a, in a game so in golf, the the greatest you know ever, I think, is Tiger, and mm-hmm. kind of at the peak of his career, he had won. I forget the number, but it was between twenty and twenty five percent of his tournaments he played in, he would he had won. Right. Yeah. The next closest was Jack Jack Nicholas, and his was like twelve percent. So you're the third greatest of all time if you win one out of ten tournaments. So it's yeah. a, it's a game of failure, right? Yeah. And so in a, in a game of failure that there's you know lesson after lesson and defeat after defeat, you know it can be easy to get down on yourself. And so that's that's you know for me a you know such a uh, such a big part of who I am is to not rely on golf to be my identity mm-hmm. because if if how I viewed myself. Uh, was based off my results, I would view myself in a bad way. Um, you know, my identity is, is through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and 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 what he views in us and, and what we're called to do, you know, while we're here on this this earth mm-hmm. for him. And and so that that's, you know, not only through the tough times, but through the good times, through it all, That that's who I lean on, and, and that's that's what I'm always going to fall on, yeah, yeah. is my faith, my belief, and, and 
you know, and what we're here for, and I know that what we're here for is more than just to hit a, a golf ball mm-hmm. around, right? Um, and so it, it's, you know, like I said, it, it was such a God thing that, you know, when I, I was getting close to winning, getting close to, to getting the job done, that, you know, I, I was – even though things were good and I, you know, was in condition, I was having some success, you know, there were still frustrating times. And so it was those times even more so, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, sitting in the back of the hotel room saying some prayers and asking like, yeah. you know, what, what was this for? How, how am I supposed to react to this? How do I respond yeah. to this? And it's just the epitome of keeping faith and keeping my head down and, and trusting in his plan for me.